Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today is Thursday, which only means one thing. It's my match preview for Brighton's game this weekend. Well, as we all know now, it's actually tomorrow night against West Ham. Um, obviously, we've got two victories over them last season. So we're looking for a hat-trick of wins today. I ain't going to deny it is important for Brighton's safety. Um, but anyway guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So I just want to address on one thing before I tell you our last four and um, West Ham's last five. Um, now Chris Shooting said last season that we will not play two up front. So I know a lot of you Brighton fans are desperate to see two up front, but he will never do it. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm with you on this, I wish you would. Um, anyway, so our last five, we've lost, lost, drawn, drawn, lost. Now that's not a decent way form whatsoever. Okay, Man City I'm willing to accept. But Southampton and Fulham drawing? Nah, that's below par for me. Not, I am have to come up with two goals, from two goals down. But we need to start winning if we're going to stand this late. West Ham is 1-1, one, one, drawn, 1-1. One, now West Ham, there's no, no need for me to tell you, they're on bang on form. They were sky high, um, beating United, not being, not being uh, disrespectful to West Ham. A lot of teams done that, I mean like a Derby. Um, but then obviously drawn against Chelsea at home. Um, now, Obviously, as I've just said, this is a desperate three points we need. But West Ham are going to come down for them as well. But I still think, if you saw my uh, Premier League prediction, you obviously know what I think the score's going to be. If you haven't, if Dan in the playlist below, um, under Premier League 18-19, they'll be in there, so just click on there and find uh, week 8 all of my Premier League predictions and it's all on there. But anyway, the last time we met it was a 3-1 Brighton win. Who could forget that Istiado goal? Um I I especially remember the one away from home. Uh no disrespect to the one at home, but it's just funny seeing Knockhart fall over in the celebration. But a good goal by Istiado you know um was a good one right in the top corner. Uh, obviously, you know, passed on grades for Brighton. Um, I'm very disappointed that he ain't uh, recovered in time. He's going to make this game even tighter. Um, as you probably as you probably noticed already, that it's clear behind me. Don't worry, I'm changing something up to hopefully make it better for the eyes for you guys. And so, just bear with me with this. Um, hopefully, by the next preview, which is just over three weeks time because we've got the international break coming up hope he'll be ready um, but anyway that's enough talking that's all my things done here's my 1 to 11 in goal I'll go with Matthew Ryan uh, ain't really got no other choice but I um, have to keep Matthew Ryan in there anyway he ain't done much wrong he has made a couple of good saves in the past uh, couple of games at right back Martin Montoya. Um, yet again, no reason to drop him. Uh, very good right back, very pacey, plays well with knock up. I think if they could work on their link up play just a little bit more, we'd be there. Um, centre back uh, on the right side, Shane Duffy. Yet again, ain't done much wrong. Um, but yet yeah, again, ain't really got no other choice except from Brooks Dunn, which I don't think is quite ready yet. Um, even though he can come on the bench if they need it. The left side, yet yeah, again, Lewis Dunn. Um, you know, yet yeah, again, no, um, no reason to change it. But, you know, as I said, we ain't really got no other choices on that left uh, centre back. Obviously, he's going with a Conor Goldson as well. Um, Left back now, this is where I am going to change it. Uh, Bong. He's had a few poor games. A really few poor games. 
Now with Fong plays, no disrespect to Fong, you know, um, I think West Ham will attack from that left hand side. Um, so I think that's the only way they're going to really look at playing because Bong's in a poor run of form so I'm going to change it up I'm going to put Bernardo in there now bear with me Bernardo might not be there yet but he will challenge for that spot so I reckon having him at left back I think he does a world of good I mean look at Shiloto last season away at Tottenham um, you know, he had a poor game and then he picked up from there. I reckon this could be the one for Bernardo. Uh, at left mid, he played 15 minutes at uh, the Etihad. Ischiedo. Ischiedo is one of the players that need to be in this 16. It's not in the first 11, he's got to be on the bench. He's got to be ready. Um, centre midfield. Uh, you know, Dale Stevens coming back from injury, so I can't see him starting. So I'll, I'm going to put David Popper in there. Uh, now I've got to go with the way Chris Hewitt looks like he, he will go. So in CDM, which is centre defence for field, is Bazuma. Um, you know, as I said, Stevens coming back from injury, don't look that great. Um, to play West Ham at this specific time but come on boys please get the three points um, and the other centre mid midfield position is uh, Graham Kyle right midfield I mentioned earlier in the video with his link like Martin Montoya Anthony Knockhart uh, you know yet again set from Sonny March set these right down on the left you know, we yet again, I haven't really got much choice except from Jack Bash. I don't think he's quite ready to start a game yet. Um, now the striker. Now, I'm going to have to go with him, but it don't mean I want to go with him. Um, I'll get on to that in a minute. But um, Andorra, uh, sorry for missing that name, um, is fit. Chris Hewton has admitted he's run on the bench at City technical uh, for tactical reasons so I'm expected to see him on, on the bench I'm expected to see him play please Chris um, you know LaGuardia yeah he's been getting a bit of stick I think we need to stick with him you know he plays for our club everyone goes for a bad spell but LaGuardia ain't getting a time out there he started against City and that's not the perfect game to start him in my opinion and then obviously there's one striker that I've got to pick and that is Ben Murray. Um, you know, a lot of you saying he signed a new contract, all good. I never, I ain't actually really seen him do much. Um, you know, you might shoot me down a bit, like saying he scored a penalty, he scored against United. That United goal, the only goal that sticks in my mind that he scored from over and away. Um, it's a lot of penalties away, but there's not many games that you will get penalties. So, you know, Anyway guys, if you'd like to see a match vlog, put it down in the comments below, I ain't done one for a while, I'll leave, I'll leave it up to you guys. Obviously it's on telly, um, obviously if you want to see me do a match vlog, comment below and I'll do one. And then obviously it's tomorrow night, and I think it's an 8 o'clock kickoff. So guys, if you are travelling down, if you're a Hammers fan, have a safe journey, look forward to seeing you down here, look forward to a good game. But anyway guys, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and share for now.